Welcome to another episode of Your Daily Scrum. I'm professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. That's professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. We get together each and every day to help you get a little bit better with scrum. Todd, let's jump right into it. What do you think? Yeah. Got a good question. I got to I got to get rid of my code head again too cuz we took a little bit of a break from what we were just talking about and I went right back at it. Oh, Todd's cooking up some code. You might see some of that uh, working uh, in the future. But for now, we're going to talk about does the order of the scrum events really matter? This is a question that came in. Um, I think it was in one of the link or the YouTube comments. Yeah, very recent. Maybe even within the past like couple hours, but we thought we'd hop right on it because that's what happens sometimes. We, um, we have a uh, squirrel shiny object syndrome. So well, we do have a, a backlog of a whole bunch of other questions. We were just like, oh, let's answer this one. Got it's a really good about. question. We like it. So does mm -hmm. the order of the scrum events really matter? So let's get some things out of the way here and look at a picture because I think a picture will help. Um, we're going to talk through the events real quick, and, and maybe that will help answer the question, right? And so let's uh, let's take a quick look here. We have the five scrum events, the sprint, sprint planning, uh, sprint review, sprint retro, and daily scrum. Now the sprint, that fifth event, it's the container event. It's the heartbeat of scrum. It's where all the work happens within. When one sprint ends, the next begins. And so we're going to kind of push this one off to the side because everything's happening within the sprint. So the sprint is always present, going, right? Yeah. Always yeah, important to point out here that there is no time gap between sprints. As soon as one sprint ends, as you said, Ryan, the next one immediately begins. Right. Immediately begins. No days or hours or anything. It literally begins, should begin right away. Right. Yep. And so when we think about that next one beginning, right, the beginning of a sprint, that's when sprint planning occurs. And so this is when a scrum team gets together and they look at the product backlog, they check out the product goal, they start crafting a sprint goal, and they start pulling work into a sprint backlog. They pull PBIs, product backlog items, into a sprint backlog that hopefully will help achieve a sprint goal that ultimately helps achieve a product goal, right? So this planning is essential uh, towards the beginning of a sprint so that we know what we're going to do during a sprint. And so I think the placement of sprint planning being first, I think that's a good step, right, Todd? It gives us a chance to plan the sprint. I think it's perfect. I think like whenever sprint planning is over, your sprint is underway, right? I mean, so I would, yeah, I mean, the sprint is happening already when you're in sprint planning, but that's yep. that first thing. I think that it is very logical for sprint planning to happen straight away. And I also, so, something that's interesting, and I think we get stuck on with all of this, right, is that um, your sprint can end halfway through a day and your next sprint starts in the afternoon. Right. It doesn't have to be, we don't have day boundaries in sprints. Right. So if you have a sprint planning on a Wednesday afternoon, your new sprint has started Wednesday afternoon. I like it. Yeah. Following that, each and every day, we have a daily scrum. The daily scrum is by and for the developers. It's for the devs to get together and figure out uh, how are we going to make progress today towards our sprint goal? Are we mm -hmm. stuck? Are we making good progress? And how do we keep that progress transparent through? the emergence of a sprint backlog, right? So it's all for the devs to figure out where they're at, where they're going, and how they're going to work together to, to actually get there. Um, 15 minutes every day. It's not a status meeting, right? It's it's not, not a, a stand-up. It's not a problem-solving uh, meeting. It is a planning meeting by and for the devs. So and I, I think having that everyday cadence for 15 minutes, I, I still like it. I like the order of things. And Todd, are you good? Good. Let's keep moving then. At the towards the end of a sprint, we're going to have a sprint review totally focused on product. It's not just a demo, right? It's getting together with stakeholders and people interested in the outcome of our work, customers, users, uh, people buying and paying for the work. And we get together, we talk about market conditions, budgets, how the product's being used, what the feedback is about the about the product. It is this collaborative working session. Um, all about the product that we're creating in the current increment. Uh, and so at the end of that, we update our product backlog with the latest and greatest information. And then we move forward into the retro. Todd, are we good with, with review so far? I feel like we're great. I think that. So what? Um, can I rehash? Yeah. Sprint planning's first. Yep. Right? The daily scrum happens every day after. Yep. Right? And then at the end or towards the very, very end of the sprint, we have the sprint review. So that is the order, right? 
And then we wrap it up with the sprint retrospective. And this mm -hmm. is all about process. This is team improvement. This is um, all about the, the scrum team getting together and figuring out how do we do scrum just a little bit better the next sprint, kind of like our show. How do we get a little bit better each and every day, except now it's a, a sprint kind of focus. And so that's for the scrum team to get together, figure out improvements, um, look at, at process, look at relationships, see what needs to happen in the next sprint to make delivery just a little bit easier. And then once that event closes out, as Todd said at the beginning of this episode, the next sprint begins. Yeah. Now, the biggest question about order that we get, can we do the retro first? And we're going to advise against that. The order of the events is important. Um, if you do a retro and everyone's given high fives and everything is awesome because we're part of a team and all that stuff, and then you go into the review, the sprint review, and the stakeholders are angry and things mm -hmm. aren't going well, what do you have to do next, Todd? So I have had that exact thing happen. Yep. I have had that exact thing. I made, I made a, a mistake here by... By saying uh, what we did was awesome, we all agreed. We we're patting each other on the backs, and we went into the review. And stakeholders really did not like what we did, and so uh, we ended up having to have another review or retrospective. Another retro, I'm right? sorry, we ended up having to have another another retrospective. So I, I I I don't think that you can inspect your process until you've inspected the incremental progress that you've made on your product. Uh, so I, I I think that that's um, yeah, it's just fundamental to the to the way I the, the sprint retrospective has to be after the sprint review, and it is absolutely um, a uh, its own event, right? We've seen uh, how many calendar invites did you get uh, that 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 are just like empty, right? They're 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 um, or not empty. They're retrospective review and retro, review. Right? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm going. And not empty. It's like let's do review plus retrospective. Two different purposes. Two different, two different purposes. purposes, two different audiences. Mm -hmm. um, keep them separate, but keep them in the order, right? There's a yeah. there's a method to the madness of this diagram on the board here. Um, hopefully, we've laid out the Scrum events in a way that makes sense. That you see the progression, the accumulation of knowledge, the emergence of our of our artifacts, and then ultimately ending with how do we do better in the next sprint that's about to begin. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear your take on it. Right. So let us know in the comments. What do you think about the way we've laid out um, the the events, whether or not you think order matters? We'd love to see. We'd love to read all that you're thinking in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Todd, I think it's end screen time. It is end screen time. Good question. Thank you, viewer. Great question. Keep them coming. Let us know in the comments what you want us to talk about next. Like I said before, like and subscribe so you never miss a video. We've got some fixing your Kanban, some fixing your Agile coaching, fixing your Agile metrics, maybe some EBM stuff coming down the line. You don't want to miss that. Check us out on socials. We're big on Twitter and LinkedIn. And uh, some videos are popping up now. Check those out too. The algorithm thinks you'll like them. We do too. Uh, for Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Really think about your scrum practice today. Really talk to your teams about the order of the events. See if what we've said makes sense. And, uh, and if you're going out of order, let's get that fixed. And then tomorrow we'll be back with a new topic just for you. Yes, we will. See you, everybody.